So hello and welcome everyone. My name is Adil Sania, and in this video, we are going to solve the question shortest path in weighted undirected graph. Okay, so without any delay, let's start the video. And if you really enjoyed the video, then do hit the like button and share down your approaches in the comment section below. Okay, so let's start. So the question is pretty straightforward. You will be given undirected graph, and the graph is going to be weighted, and you are supposed to find out the distance from source to destination. Okay. So let's see some of the details that are mentioned in the question. So you are given unweighted undirected graph having n vertices, and the numbering of vertices starts from one to n. And you will be given m edges along with their weights, and you are supposed to find the shortest path between the vertex one and the vertex n. If there exists a path, then you are supposed to return a list. So this line is suggesting how the output will be returned by the function and how you are supposed to return the output. Okay. So it says you are supposed to return a list of integers whose first Element is the weight of the path. Okay, so from one to n, which is the shortest path? Okay, and it what is its weight? So that weight will be the first element in the list, and the rest element basically suggests the path. Okay, so uh, there is one more line. If no path exists, then return a list containing a single element minus one. Okay, and uh, it has been mentioned the input list of edges is as follows: a, b, and w. So denoting there is an edge between a and b, and the w is the weight of that edge. so so much of information now let's say to understand uh, with the first example that is given over here so this is the first example i'll just uh, write down the edges over here so these are the edges that are given so there is an edge from 1 to 2 and if you draw the graph if you draw this kind of graph so these are the edges that are given and if you draw this graph no so the graph will be looking something like this so one there is an edge from 1 to 2 and there is an edge from 2 to 3 and here there will be four this is connected this is connected and there is an edge 5 and over here in this manner this is the graph given in the question and over here what are the weights so there is an edge from 1 to 2 and its edge weight is what 2 so this is 2 there is an edge from 2 to 5 its weight is 5 there is an edge from 2 to 3 and its weight is what 4 there is an edge from uh 3 to 5 right and its edge is edge weight is 1 there is an edge from what 4 to 3 its weight is 3 and there is an edge from 1 to 4 And its weight is one. Okay, so you are supposed to find out the path from source. Where is the source? This is your source, and this is the destination. So uh, the number of of nodes starts from one to n, and what is the value of n? N equals to five over here. So this is your source, and this is your destination. Find out the shortest path. Okay, so I can see there are many paths available in this manner, right? And if you find out the shortest path, you will be getting this as the shortest path. One four, and you will be having three and This is five, okay. And the weights are one, three, and one. And what is the uh, sum of this path? So the sum of this path is five. So remember that line I was mentioning over here while I was reading the uh, problem statement. That line denotes how the output should be printed, right? So basically, that uh, I'm explaining how the output should be returned. Okay, so you should return a list of integers, but the first integer should be the uh, should be the length of the path. So what is the length of this path? It is five, and it should And the rest of the other integers will be denoting the path. So one, four, three, and five. This is the path. So you are supposed to return this kind of list, and in the output they will just uh, print what they will be just printing the weight of this uh, or the length of this path that is five. Okay. I hope you understood what the problem is trying to say, and now we can focus on basically how to solve this question. And uh, in order to solve this question if you guys have thought of an approach and if you are thinking of the extras algorithm then you are going on the correct path right so basically the graph is weighted graph and it is undirected graph so shortest path in un, uh, shortest path in undirected weighted graph can be found using the extras algorithm and we are going to use the extras algorithm to solve this question so now what i need to do basically see if you see you know in the question you are given the edges right so you are not given direct graph so i will be creating an adjacency list for this question so you guys can also create an adjacency list and let me just give you an idea about how the adjacency list looks like okay so the adjacency list will be looking something like this so let me create the adjacency list so the numbering of nodes will be 1 and we'll be having 2 3 4 and 5 and what i will be doing i will be storing a pair that denotes the uh, neighbor and the edge weight i will say edge Wait. Okay, so I'll be storing this kind of pairs uh, corresponding to every node over here. So one is neighbor to what two, and its edge weight is two. 
and one is neighbor to what four its edge weight is one then similarly for two two is neighbor to what one and its edge weight is two then two is neighbor to three its edge weight is four two is neighbor to five its edge weight is five then three three basically has a neighbor two and its edge weight is four three has a neighbor four its edge weight is three three has a neighbor five its edge weight is one then we have four four is neighbor to one its edge weight is one four is neighbor to three its edge weight is three and five five has neighbor two its edge weight is five and three its edge weight is one so this is the adjacency list that we need to create in order to apply the dextrous algorithm right if we don't create this how will we able to find out like how will we know where are the neighbors right so now i don't need this graph so i'll just put it aside now okay so if you remember the extra cell algorithm uh, basically we use a priority queue over there okay and if you don't know the extra cell algorithm i would highly recommend that it's a very important algorithm when you are uh, basically working with shortest path okay so let's say i have created a priority queue okay so the priority queue looks like a cloud okay that's totally fine let's not focus on my drawing right so this is a priority queue and in this priority queue what do we need to store so i'll be storing two values i'll be storing a node okay and i'll be storing the path so far value or you can call it as a distance so far right so the uh, distance so far indicates like from the source node to that particular node what is the distance so far okay so this is a, this is what i'm going to store in the priority queue so basically yes you need to create a a class pair if you are working with java or if you are working with c++ you need to use pair over there right so this is a priority queue now we need to start with something right so here we need two things right we need the weight i mean we need the uh, distance from source to destination and we also need to print the path we need to print the path in order to main in order to maintain this what i'm going to do i'm going to basically use uh, two different arrays one array will be uh, helping us to get the path okay and another array will be helping us to uh, basically get the distance so i'll be creating two arrays over here one is the distance array so this says 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is the uh, distance array and uh, now i will be having a parent array okay, so the parent array is useful whenever you want to print a path so let's say this is the parent array okay this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so distance what i will be doing i'll be initializing all the values with infinite over here let's say this is at infinite distance from source okay everyone is at infinite distance from source and over here what i will be doing who is parent of uh, whom so let's say here what i will be doing i'll be saying that uh, any node okay so here i need to initialize the parent node you can initialize with anything okay so let's say i will initialize with uh, the node itself that uh, the node is parent of itself 4 and 5 okay now i need to start the dextrous algorithm so i need to select the source right i need to start with the source node over here and i will be just writing down what the dextrous algorithm does right okay so the dextrous the dextrous algorithm says if you find out that the distance so far okay distance so far means the uh, node that you have removed plus the neighbors the edge weight of the neighbor if that distance is basically found to be less than the actual distance of the neighbor actual means whatever value is stored inside the distance array is basically greater than the uh, distance so far plus the edge weight of that neighbor so i will be saying distance of that neighbor then what i will be doing first of all i will be updating the distance the distance of the uh, neighbor will be updated with the distance so far that you found plus the edge weight okay and i will be adding this thing inside the priority queue uh, add what i will be doing i will be adding the neighbor and the new distance that we have found in priority queue so let's say this is pq dot add and i'll be adding this thing so this is what the dextrous algorithm says you are supposed to update the distance whenever you find a shortest path okay let's skip this aside because i'll be using this as a reference so now let's start so everything is ready we have all the uh, necessary like all the necessary entities over here distance array parent array and the priority queue so the initial step is to select the source node what is the source node in our case it is 1 and the destination is n right so what i will be doing i will be selecting the source node so i'll be writing down over here node and the distance so far so the source node is 1 and the distance of source to source is what it is equivalent to 0 so i'll be inserting a pair 1 comma 0 over here and inside the distance array as we know 
that the distance from source to source is basically what it is zero right so i'll be updating over here as well now the iterative steps are going to be starting while the priority queue is not empty we are keep on we are basically going to update the distance array based on the path that we have found okay so now remove the smallest element so smallest based on the distance so far will be removed so remove the smallest element so i'll be getting node 1 comma 0 from the graph okay so this has been removed now what you are supposed to do find out the neighbors so what are the neighbors of 1 i can see one neighbor is what 2 and what is its this it uh, what is the edge weight it is 2 so distance so far plus edge weight is this is this lesser than the actual distance of 2 yes it is less right so what I will be doing, I will be inserting what I will be inserting two comma basically two that is the node and its distance so far. Here I will be updating. So now the new distance that I have found is basically two. And now who is the parent? So parent will also be updated. Whichever is the current node, and with the help of this current node, the distance of two was updated, right? So the path shortest path to two basically is going from the current node. So I'll be updating one is the parent of two okay now the next node is four four okay so now let's remove this and let's remove this okay next neighbor is four distance so far plus the edge weight is it lesser than uh, actual distance of four actual distance of four is what infinite yes so i'll be updating this distance okay update the distance now it will be one and update the parent of four so what is the parent of four it will be the current node and insert this four comma new distance inside the priority queue Okay, now we don't have any other neighbors remaining. So now I'll be again remove again removing the node from the queue. So a pair. So two and one. What is smaller one? Four comma one. So four comma one will be removed. Okay, fine. Now see the neighbors of four comma one. So here is four. Its neighbor is one, and the distance so far is one, and the edge weight is what one. Is it lesser than the actual distance of one? Distance of one is what zero. No, this is not less. So I'll not be doing anything over here. Now see the next neighbor, it is 3. So distance so far is 1 and the edge weight is what? 3. And what is the actual distance of 3? It is infinite. Is this less than infinite? 4 is less than infinite. Yes. So update the distance of 3 to 4 and update the parent of 3. It will be now node number 4. And this was already removed, so remove it. And now insert 3 with its new distance that is 4 inside the priority queue. Okay, now again remove the smallest one from the priority queue. So here I can see 2 comma 2 is the smallest one. So remove it from the priority queue. Okay. Now find out the neighbors of 2 comma 2. So here. So 1 is the neighbor. So distance so far is 2. And its edge weight is what? 2. And what is the actual distance of 1? It is 0. So 0 is not uh, basically uh, greater than 4. Okay. Next neighbor is 3. Distance so far is 2. The edge weight is 4. Is it less than the actual distance of 3? Actual distance of 3 which I have found earlier was 4. Right? So 4 plus 2 is not less than 4. Okay. So now next number is what? 5. So what is the edge weight? It is 5. Distance so far plus edge weight is less than the distance of 5. Yes. So here I will be updating 7. And who will be the parent of 5? Now it will be the node number 2. Now insert 5 comma 7 inside the priority queue. Okay. So all the neighbors of uh, 2 has been explored. Right. Now remove the smallest one 7 and 4. So I will be getting 3 comma 4 over here. Okay, find out the neighbors of 3. Okay, here are the neighbors. Neighbor is 2. Distance so far is 4. Edge weight is what? 4. And what is the actual distance which I have found earlier? It is 2. Is 4 plus 4 less than 2? No, it is not less than 2. Now the next neighbor is 4. Distance so far plus the edge weight of 4 is 3. Is it less than the actual distance? So for 4, I got actual distance to be 1. No, it is not correct. So now the next neighbor is 5. Distance so far is 4. Edge weight is what? 1. And what is the actual distance of 5? It is 7. Is 5 less than 7? Yes. So update this value over here. So I'll be updating to 5. And what will be the parent of 5? It will be now equivalent to 3. Now insert 5, comma 5 inside the priority queue. And this 3, comma 4 was already removed. So erase it from the priority queue. Okay. Now again find out the uh, smallest one. 5, comma 5 will be the smallest one. Okay. Now find out the neighbors of 5, comma 5. So here 5. Its neighbor is basically you can see it is 2. So distance so far is what? 5. And the edge weight is also what? 5. Is it less than the actual distance that you have found? Is it less than 2? No, it is not less than 2. So do not do anything. Now next neighbor is 3. Distance so far is 5. 5 plus 1. And the distance of 3 is what? 4. Is 6 less than 4? No, it is not less than 4. So don't do anything. Now this node has explored all the neighbors. Now 5, 5 was also removed. And now 
five comma seven will be removed from the priority queue. Okay. Now for five comma seven, what are the neighbors? Two is the neighbor. Distance so far is seven, and the uh, edge weight is what five. Is it less than distance of two? Uh, no, it is not less than. See the next neighbor. It is three. So distance so far is seven. Edge weight is one. Is it less than what? Is it less than the distance of three? Is it less than four? No, it is not less than four. Okay, fine. So remove it. So now five comma seven task is also done, and now we can see the priority queues. End. Okay, so we have completed the dry run of the extra algorithm, and here is your distance array, and here is your parent array. Okay, now what to do? So let's say you have created a list over here in this manner. So first of all, find out the distance of five. So in the insert the distance array for n, we have stored five. So insert the first element to be what five. Okay, then find out the path. So basically, see first of all, if you find out the path, you no, know, let's say you have the list which will be storing the answer. So first of all, what I will do, I'll, I'll find out the path over here. So from five, you can go to three. Okay. So first of all, from five, you can go to three. From three, you can go to what four? Who is the parent of three? It is four. And who is the parent of four? It is one. Okay. So basically, what I am doing? How how can you reach five? You can reach via three. So how can you reach three? You can reach via four. How can you reach four? You can reach via one. So you have reached the source, and now insert the distance. So this is five. So I'll be inserting five. Now, what was expected by the question? They were expecting that you will be giving the answer. First of all, the distance from source to destination should appear at the front end, and the path should be appearing over here. Our path should be appearing after that. So you can just reverse this. List. So, if you reverse this list, you will be having distance over here, and you will be getting one, three. <clears throat> you will be getting uh, one, four, three, and five. So, this is your actual answer, and you can just return from the function. And if you want to see one, four, three, five earlier, also we got one, four, three, and five, and the distance was five. Okay. So, this is your Dijkstra's algorithm, and I hope you understood the Dijkstra's algorithm implementation in this question. Now, let's try to see the coding implementation for this same. Okay, so I have already written a code over here. So basically, let's go through this code once. So here, uh, here is the shortest path, and it is expecting a list of integers. Okay, and now I have created an adjacency list. Now I'll be creating a graph. So I've created a graph using adjacency list in this case, and now I have created a priority queue. And see, priority queue is using a user-defined data, right? So for priority queue. You need to basically suggest on what basis it should prioritize the elements over there. So here I have passed this lambda expression over here, and it is storing a uh, an element of type pair. And pair basically contains first and second, where first is the node and second one is basically your edge uh, distance so far, okay, from the source. Then I have created a distance array, and the parent array has been created. I have initialized both of them. Distance array has been initialized with infinite. At end of the power nine, and parent array has been initialized with the node itself. Then I have taken the source node as my uh, initialization step. So distance of one will be zero from itself, and then I am adding that priority queue inside the priority queue. Okay. So here basically I have added basically the first element I have taken basically uh, the uh, distance so far, and the second element I have taken as the node. Okay. And while the priority queue is not empty, I'll keep on doing the process. So I'll remove the element. So I've removed one node and its distance. So node and distance have been removed. Then what I will be doing? I'll be exploring all the adjacent. So I'll be getting the adjacent node and its edge uh, edge weight, right? Then I'll be checking if the distance plus edge weight. This is distance so far. If it is less than the distance of the adjacent node, then I'll be updating its distance, and then I'll be adding the pair to the priority queue, and then I'll be updating the parent of the adjacent node. Current node will become the parent. Okay, and After doing this thing, I have created an array that stores basically the path. Okay, so now here basically the question says if the answer is not possible, then you are supposed to return minus one in this scenario. Basically, inside a list that uh, will be containing only minus one. So if the distance of n basically, so if the distance of n is infinite, then you will be returning minus one and just return the uh, so-called uh, list with minus one. If it is not the case, then find out the node. So node will be n. The destination is n, right? So I'm just calculating the path over here. So while the parent of node is not equal to node, for one, its parent is going to be one, right? So that's why I have done this thing, and I'm just putting out the path, and I'm just calculating like what is the path from the destination to the source node in the reverse manner. Okay, and I'm adding all these things inside the path list, and at the end, I'm just adding a value one because that would be 
the source i need to add the source as well right and at the end what you can do uh, inside the path what you can do you can add the distance from source to destination find it from the des uh, find it from the distance array and just reverse it so that you get the original list according to the quotient and then just return the list okay so that's pretty much and let's say to submit and see what happens so let's first of all compile and run so on compilation it is working perfectly fine and let's say to submit it and we can see that the problem has been successfully submitted and if you talk about the time and space complexity over here we are using a priority queue and this priority queue basically uh, will be uh, doing the reordering in log of number of elements over there right so the overall time complexity comes out to be m into log n okay m number of edges and log n for the nodes over there okay and the space complexity will be order of uh, n plus m because i have created an adjacency list over here okay and regarding apart from that i have created two arrays of size n okay so that is our time and space complexity and i hope you really enjoyed this solution and if you really enjoyed the solution then do it the like button so that was it for in this video i hope you really enjoyed the video and i will be seeing you in the next video till then keep coding